May God hear you. Because you have so much. You have so much to do. And the work that is waiting upon you is so much. And God is looking at you jealously. Guarding you jealously. And his eye is seeing and looking the step that you are going to take. I have given you the message. My work is I'm a messenger. A message to the young people. You are in the God's agenda. The young people. Too many young people. In a, in a five acre land. And I was up. And I was leading a meeting. That was uh, that, that many people had come even from US. And the young people, they were too many. They were too many. And I wanted to take a photograph. So that I can send it to uh, Oscar. And I, as I was trying to uh, take the photograph, I could not see the face. Because I was high up. There were many uh, black heads. They were intact. You never could see the head. They were intact. And they were praying. They were too many. I could see Kuria. They were overwhelming Kuria. But these people, they were praying. The young people. They were praying. And God, then God gave me a message for the church that we move forward. That we move forward. That we are in God's agenda. And the message today I'm giving unto the church is that we are, we are supposed to move forward. There is so much. There is so much that the Lord has for us in store. And God is looking at each and every person to be a worker. But God is also warning us not to be like Israel. When they were moving from Egypt, as they, as they were learning away from the Egyptians, and the Egyptians, they were just about to overdo the, uh, the Israelites. And then they started murmuring and to Moses. And they were saying it is better they could be in Egypt rather than go into the wilderness to die there. And our reading today uh, it is from Exodus of 14 uh, from verse 10. I will read very fast because I will take only 25 minutes. And when Pharaoh drew near the children of Israel lifted up their eyes and behold the Egyptian marched after them. And they were more so afraid. And children of Israel cried unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there is no grave in Egypt, thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Therefore hast thou dealt us with us, and carry us forth out of Egypt. It is not this the world that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. For it has been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you uh, today of the Egyptians, whom we have seen uh, today, uh, shall see them uh, again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh, Where cries uh, unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel uh, that they go forward. Uh, but lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea. 
and divide the children of Israel uh, shall go to dry ground through the midst of the sea. And behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon the host of his chariots, upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, and I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon the chariots, upon the horsemen. And the angel of the Lord, which went before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of the crowd went uh, before their face and stood behind them. And they came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And the camp of Israel and it was a crowd of darkness to them, but it gave right by night to this. And to that, one came not near the other or the night. And Moses, and Moses stretched out the hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong wind all the, that night, and made the sea dry, and the water were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea, and the dry ground, and the waters were all a wall into them, on their right hand, on their left hand. God bless the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes, uh, we get stuck in life. Sometimes, we get stuck in jam. Sometimes, we get stuck in our jobs. Sometimes, we get stuck in mud. And sometimes, we get stuck in sin. In bad situations. But God wants to help us to move forward. And Apostle Paul is a good example. When we read Philippians 1 and chapter 1 and chapter 2, we find that the Paul was stuck in that terrible uh, situation. Remember the, the time that Paul was in Rome. He was in prison. He was in chain. He was guarded. And he was even just about to be killed. And in fact, Paul did not even know whether he was going to live or die. Because he wanted to be killed. Because of this gospel of Jesus Christ. And that is why Paul is telling us this morning. He was uh, 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 he was. He had grief, and that grief was spread against grief. When his friend was just about to be killed, and Paul was stuck in a very bad situation, and that is why Paul is telling us this morning. This in Paul uh, chapter three and verse thirteen to fourteen. He was firmly committed to go forward with God. Then Paul said, I want to place the goal for the price of upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And Paul said he was reaching forward to those things that they were ahead of him. Today God wants us to move forward. Yes, you have been stuck by many situations. God wants Christians to move forward. He wants family to move forward. He wants the church to move forward. He wants friends to move forward. And because God was speaking unto me, and he was telling the church, the church of Jesus Christ, that a time has come for us to move forward. And as we move forward, we be assured that God is protecting us. Because God will always give protection to his children. Many other times we have been sick. 
Yes, we have seen the protection of God. Yes, we are growing old. We have seen the protection of God. We have been having financial problems. We have seen the protection of God. We have seen family problems. But at the end of the day, we have seen the protection of God. And God is speaking with a loud voice. And he is saying that to the church that we move forward. Let us not look behind. Let us not look what happened yesterday. But let us look forward. Because we have an assurance of God to protect us. There is a difference between the Christian and those who do not uh, uh, who do not believe in God. And that is why the children of Israel they made a terrible mistake forgetting that the Lord God was protecting them. If God is not on your side, if God was not also on your side, the evil one could have consumed us long time ago. But because God has been our shield, every day giving us a word to move us forward, to song a belle we need not to forget what God is planning for us. When the Pharaoh was drawing near the Israelites, the Israelites lifted their eyes unto God. And the Egyptians, they were marching very fast. And therefore the children of, of, of Israel were very afraid. And every time they were crying unto God, and then they could speak things that could hurt God. They could speak things that could hurt their leaders. And they could say to Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, that is the way, you, why didn't you allow us to die in Egypt? Why are you now taking us to the wilderness so that we die in the wilderness? And they believed that in the wilderness there were no graves. And they were speaking and they were saying, Why didn't you deal with us while we are in Egypt? But the people of Israel never understood that the Lord God was protecting them day by day. Many other times that we underestimate the protection of God. Every day that you are walking up, you are literally lamenting. You have walked with, you have been ferried by a vehicle driven by somebody. But sometimes you do not see the protection of God. Sometimes you do not see God working behind the scene. In order to give us protection. God is telling us that we require to move forward without fear and we require to stand still so that we can see the salvation of God. Every time you decide to work for God there, there, there is always resistance. There was a time that we wanted to go and preach in Tiboroa and I remember we were two of us. There was no but in our house. And in that night that we were planning to live in the morning, thieves struck in our neighbor's house. And we could hear them being beaten and being asked to give whatever they had. And there in the morning we were planning to go for a week to go to Diboroa and go and preach to the young people. And we thought that maybe even if we, we stay in the house, the thief may come 
Mwezi wanaweza kuja. And then we were saying should we go or should we stay? Na tulikuwa tunajiuliza je tuende ama tukae? Thank God that we decided to go. Tunashukuru Mungu tuliamua kwenda. But kuenda. as we were going, na tulipokuwa tunaenda, I was still remembering that our house do not have anybody. Nilikuwa nakumbuka bado nyumba yetu haina mtu. And as we were in a matatu, na tulipokuwa pale katika matatu, I got asleep. Nikapala. And I was taken back to our house. Na nikarudishwa kwa nyumba yetu. And because my heart was I was really fearing. Na kwa sababu kwa moyo wangu nilikuwa naogopa sana. Because I could see this could come. Kwa sababu nilikuwa naona kama wezi wanaweza. And as I was uh, sitting on that matatu. Na nilipokuwa katika ile matatu nimekiti. God took me the spirit. Mungu akanichukua katika roho. And he showed me. Na akanionyesha. Our house And he also showed me the fence. Akanionyesha nyumba yetu na ukuta wetu. And I could see that the Lord God had already built a, a, a stone uh, fence. Na nikaona Mungu amejaka ukuta wa mawe. On that fence there were so many candles. Na kwa huo ukuta kulikuwa na misumaa mingi sana. Around. Imezingira kila. There was a hedge of fire. Na kulikuwa na Then I woke up. Na ulinzi wa moto. And we went and we preached the gospel. Alafu nikaamka nika tukaenda tukahubiri. And many came to Jesus. Na wengi wakaja kwa Yesu. A young people were delivered. Wanarika wakakobolewa. Then we came back. Na tuliparudi nyumbani. And we found our house was intact. Tukapata nyumba yetu ilikuwa vile tuliacha. And I came to learn. Na nikakuja kujifunza. When you give everything unto Jesus. Ukijipatia Yesu kila kitu. Live unto God to protect it. Ashiria Mungu ailinde. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And therefore Moses said unto the people. Na kwa hivyo Musa akawaambia watu. Not to be afraid. Musiogope. Because God was a, was going to a, what God was going to accomplish that day. Kwa sababu kila Mungu atatimiza hiyo siku. They were not going to those Egyptians anymore. I do not know what mountains is are, are there in your life. Sijui ni milima gani iko hapo katika maisha yako. I do not know the Egyptians that you have in your life. Sijui wa Misri wa gani uko nao katika maisha yako. The obstacles that you are having in your life. Vile vikwazo viko katika maisha yako. God is telling us today. Mungu anakuambia siku ya leo. That we move forward and stand still. Ya kwamba tusonge mbele na tusimame. And we are going to see the salvation of the Lord. Na tutaona wokovu wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. First 19 reminds us Mustari wa 19 unatukubusha This great truth about what we expect from God. Kweli kubwa hivi vitu ambavyo tunatarajia kutoka kwa Mungu. The Bible says that an angel came. Biblia inasema ya kwamba malaika Mungu akamwambia Musa, "Tulifta the Lord." Ainue ule mtu. 
stretched out uh, over the sea. And invited the children of Israel to go on the dry ground through the midst of the sea. And Moses stretched out according to the word of God. And the Lord caused the sea to go back. And he made the, the, the sea to dry up. And the water was divided. And the children of Israel, and they went into the midst of the sea, on the dry ground. And the water was a wall to them. On the right hand and the left hand. Today I came to tell you the way of the Lord is sure. The way of God never changes. His way is not like our way. There is only one way that the children of Israel were to go to the other side of the sea. Today I came to tell you. There is only one way to heaven. And the only way to heaven it is through Jesus Christ. So we must look forward. Because God has already provided us a way. So if you have not received Jesus Christ, you may not know what we are talking about. Because the Bible says in Matthew 16, 26, the whole world. The whole world may be having you may have the money. But what shall you do? When you do not, not have eternal life. So today God is calling upon you. To give your life to Jesus. Because these privileges that we are talking about, you may not see them, you may not feed them. But when you decide with your whole heart, then the Lord God will come to you. Point number three that the Lord God told us to. That we move forward because the Lord God is ready to lead us in the right direction. Sometimes we may have a problem. Sometimes we may be afraid to move forward. Sometimes we may be tempted to go back. Just the way the children of Israel were doing. They wanted to go back to Egypt. Sometimes we may be tempted to go back. But God, God is making a, a plea to us not to go back. Not to go back. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Today you are crying unto us. Today I want you to tell you that we move forward. Let us forget the past. Let us forget what you were doing there before. Let us move forward. Because people will see your salvation. But other people will be interested in your life. And they will come to Jesus. One time there was one missionary in Africa. Africa. And as they were, they had a small church. And in that church, there was a husband and wife. But there was also a pastor in that church. And the wife, he didn't love God. And he could go and pray. And every time there was a, 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 the, a, the, the man of God would ask if anybody has a prayer, she could go forward. But the husband could not go to the church. But this woman had a small dog. Every day they were going to church. And every time the pastor could say, if you have any problem, you can come forward. And as they were coming forward, the man of God said, Oh, you have a But this husband was very brutal. He was, he was a very cold man. He was a hard man. He don't, he don't want anything to do. And every time the woman would go to church, he could be 
beat this woman. Alikuwa anachapwa sana. And in one day he did beat this woman to death. Hadi siku moja akamchapa hadi kufa. And she could not he could not even allow this uh, the, the, the pastor to go and to attend the funeral. Ana hakuwa hata kumruhusu mchungaji aende mazishi. And after the burial, na baada ya mazishi, the man went back with the dog. Huyu mtu akarudi nyumbani na mbwa wake. But after living with his dog after for several years. Na baada ya kukana huo mbwa kwa siku This man realized that this dog huyu mtu akagundua ya kwamba huyu mbwa you should disappear for two or three hours alikuwa anatoka anaenda kama masamata every day kila siku and one day he is decided to follow the dog na siku moja akaamua kufuata huyu mtu to go and find out what is happening with this dog ili akaenda kujua ni nini kilikuwa na huyu mbwa bwana asifiwe and he could follow the dog very hard because the, 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 the dog was moving very fast na alikuwa ana wale mtu wa kufuata huyu kwa sababu alikuwa na huyu mbwa alikuwa na and he found out that na akakutua sikuwa that this dog ya kwamba huyu mbwa was going to the that little church alikuwa anaenda ile kanisa ni dog where the wife was worshiping mahali mbibi alikuwa na abudu and the dog used to go na huyu mbwa alikuwa anaenda and see to the seat that the wife was the wife of this man was sitting Naka anakata katika kila kiti bibi ya huyu mtu na service is over hadi baada inaisha and he could see the man of god calling for uh, for the any meditation na alikuwa anaita mtu habari ni mgeni and he saw the door na anaona mtu go forward mtu alikuwa anatokea bila and take the place where the wife was praying for years na ile akaenda mahali ambapo bibi alikuwa anaomba kwa mia saba and the man was standing at the door na huyu mtu alikuwa anamwangalia mtu and he saw the door na akaona mbwa big praying for akaona mbwa na ona and he was so touched na akaguzwa sana and therefore he went forward na kwa hivyo pia yeye akatoka and he gave his life to Jesus na akapeana maisha yake kwa Kristo and from that day na kutoka hiyo siku the dog went to the church with the new master na huyu mbwa akaanza kwenda shondani na kanisa la mbwa God used the dog to change the man. Mungu akatumia mbwa kubadilisha huyu. And the man was changed forever. Na huyu mtu akabadilishwa kwenyewe. There was a direct change. Kulikuwa na kubadilika kwa hakika. Because God, kwa sababu Mungu was able to direct this man. Aliweza kuelekeza huyu mtu to the right direction katika jia hiyo sawa. So today, kwa hiyo siku ya leo, it's a beautiful day. Ni siku ya kupendeza. But God is telling us let us go. Lakini Mungu anasema wacheni twende. Not to the familiar ground sio kwa mahali ambapo tunajua let us not go to what is familiar tuziende mahali tunajua but let god to direct us lakini wacha twende mahali mungu atatuelekea god is also telling us that to let him to help us ya kwamba mungu anatuambia kwa kwamba anataka kutusaidia to work towards our divine purpose ili tuzende tufanye kazi ya kusudi letu la kimungu bwana asifiwe amen let us walk by faith acha ni tutapea katika imani bali sio kwa woga because fear is not from god kwa sababu wao sio wa mungu god want to encourage us this uh, afternoon mungu anataka kutuhimiza asubuhi ya not to be fearful ya kwamba atufai kuogopa but we require to move bali tunataka kusonga to the right direction katika jia hiyo sawa in the in the name of jesus jina la yesu so let us keep on moving acha ni tuendelee kusonga because god is with us sababu Mungu ni pamoja na sisi still waiting upon kwa sababu tunataka zako bado za kugoja because you have everything that you need na kwa kwa una kila kitu tunachohitaji Jesus name katika jina la Yesu stand up wacheni tusimame the name of